Oh. oh my gosh, I've got hair <coughs> somewhere. I don't know where it's coming from, but it's tickling my lip and it's pissing me off. But hello there and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be telling you about my most favourite, the absolute best highlighters that I bought from Aliexpress. I have a bunch of them and I have really, really, really kind of thoughtfully considered which highlighters to include in this video because I only wanted to tell you about the best of the best. I didn't want any half-assed highlighters in. I didn't want any, hmm, this is okay, but it's not setting my knickers on fire kind of situation. I only wanted the very best orgasm inducing highlighters. That's what we're going to do today and also I would really really appreciate it if you wouldn't mind giving me a little bit of feedback because I've kind of like, I don't want to say I've I've hit a brick wall because I, I'm not really but I just feel like I, I want to hear your thoughts, I want to get your input. I'm really, really interested to know what kind of videos would you most like to see from me or, you know, are there any videos that I've not done yet that you'd be really, really interested in? I did pop up a post on Instagram recently and I asked the same question and I got some really, really good responses. Um, a lot of people wanted to see like the best of videos and a and a with me and honeys, which we are gonna do. Um, even though he doesn't really want to do it, I wear the trousers in this household, so we will be doing it. And also a skincare video seems quite a popular one, so I'm definitely going to be doing those. But if there's anything else that you would really, really like to see, please let me know. I just want to make sure that I'm actually making content that you want to see. So anyway, with all of that being said, I have a little bit more to say actually, but I just wanted to say I hope that you're well, healthy, happy, safe. I hope that your situation is good right now and I hope that all your loved ones are well too. Let's get into the video because I know you want to. By the way, do you like the look today? Just thought today I was going to go for a little bit of a, actually a very much of a girly look. I just wanted to be like pink, purple, girly, freckles on the nose. I've got diamonds in the ears. They're not diamonds. These are pretending to be diamonds. Um, I've got my little top, which is from H&M, and it says Lara Jean. Lara Jean. I don't know what that is. I have no idea. But anyway, guys, so we're going to jump right into the video, and I'm going to tell you about my first favourite, which is by the beautiful Novo brand. So this is called the Three Dimensional Highlighting Powder. Oh, that didn't go, that sounded terrible, didn't it? The three dimensional highlighting powder. So they did have a whole range of shades. This is in the shade 04, and this is what she looks like. So this is the most beautiful, kind of yellowy, kind of light champagne, warm moment. So this is what she looks like. She's absolutely, truly blinding. I'm going to be popping her on so that you can see. I'm not going to be trying them all on but I just I just thought well that I'm going to just save my highlighter for the video so I can pick one to try on in the video if that makes sense. So this one is Novo three dimensional highlighting powder. It's got that real wet look sheen. I would definitely say that this is very similar to Rodeo Drive by Ofra which is one of my absolute, well I'd say Rodeo Drive is probably my favourite formula and my favourite shade of highlighter of all time and I would definitely say that this one is an extremely close comparison. I am going to be doing a dupes video soon where I'm going to be kind of matching up affordable AliExpress makeup with more expensive kind of higher end well-known dupes to give you some idea about you know some some dupettes out there but anyway that's not what we're doing today but I am going to be doing that soon uh, so I'm going to just pop a little bit of this on so that you can see her in action doing a performance in all of her glory Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. Look at that. She just has that most mesmerising, wet look sheen. She has the glass skin look. She does not look powdery or heavy or artificial or fake. She just 
makes your skin look like you're glowing from within like you've drank your eight pints of water for that day drinking your celery infusions you've just been living your very best life she's so gorgeous guys and as i say she's she is a light champagne but she definitely does have a slight pop of of yellow in there and when I say yellow I don't really mean yellow and I, by the way I'm terrible at describing things but she just has that like a, a pop of warmth to her she is heaven she just is beautiful she's beautiful from the front beautiful from the side beautiful probably from above beautiful from down below beautiful from all angles if i was doing a skydive over manchester i imagine there would be many people and probably news crews would be out looking at the the glowy lights from above thinking it was a spaceship but really it was me with my glowy highlighter so this highlighter is absolutely gorgeous formula wise shade wise beautiful and just to say as well that all of the highlighters that I am going to be talking about today I love them because of the shade but also because of the formula they're just absolute extravaganzas so this one is Novo again I will put all of the links to the highlighters downstairs in the description box so if you do want to go ahead and check any of them out you can find the links down below. Don't worry, I hooked you up. I did. Um, okay, so guys, next we have fuck, 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 in the house. So these are the goals. The goals. Now, I, I just think this is one of the most unfortunate of all typos because they were so close, but yet so far. Uh, they were obviously going for gold glow oh my gosh now even i can't say it but i feel like they were definitely going for glow which i don't know it would make sense but maybe they weren't maybe they were throwing a curveball out there maybe they were just thinking it would be a laugh it would be a laugh let's just do a typo for a laugh i don't know it's just strange but yeah these are the goals the goals or maybe i don't know maybe goal is a word for something I probably not. I always just have this really like hilarious image in my mind of poor Dave working, you know, in the factory. He's putting together the graphics for the packaging. He makes this momentous but also hilarious typo. He probably gets fired, which is really, really sad. But um, yeah, I could just imagine that the CEO's heads rolling when they realised they'd be like oh my gosh but Dave we've printed 10 fucking thousand of these now we can't just go back and change it we're fecked we have well and truly fecked we're going to be the laughing stock of AliExpress and when she's going to be taking the piss she really is and yes I am anyway so these are the goal I had two different shades I have shade 03 which is Nova light and it's the most beautiful I see peach and I also have my favorite which is called rose of radiance and this is the most beautiful pink slash gold and I know you're probably thinking oh my gosh like pink slash gold who is she? But she's kind of pink, she's gold. I'm going to do swatches so you can see. And then we're going to pop on a little bit of Rose Radiance onto my nose. Just because I feel like it. Okay, so we've got Rose Radiance and we've got Nova Light. Look at this, guys. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I almost came. These... Are all you could ever wish for in a highlighter. I don't know about you, but for me, I really, really love a wet look sheen, if I've not mentioned that before. I just feel like I need to get t-shirts made. Give me a wet look sheen, living for the wet look sheen, or just quite simply, wet look sheen. To think that these highlighters cost about £5 each is extraordinary when you've got other brands such as MAC, um, Maybelline, NYX, L'Oreal um, and then more expensive brands like Charlotte Tilbury I feel bad because I always like I always compare with Charlotte Tilbury which is actually extremely unfair and unreasonable of me because I've never actually tried any of Charlotte Tilbury products the reason why is because they're ridiculously expensive but I've seen swatches and I've seen people 
review her products and try them out and none of them have made me come quite like these honestly also can you see what i mean about rose radiance so it kind of looks pink in some lights or some angles and then it takes on a beautiful gold kind of look just to mention as well so that you have full full transparency i did use a wet wipe on my hand because i wiped off the novo highlighter so my hand was a slight bit moist so i definitely do feel like that's just really taking them to the next level but i mean these guys ah sensational so as promised i'm going to pop a little bit of rose radiance just on my nose because i saw someone do this the other day and it just looked so gorgeous and i know that i'm not going to do it as well as the person who i saw do it i'm going to feck it up i just know it it's not going to look right but do you know what i don't care i'm just doing it in for a penny in for a pound oh my gosh in for a pound in for a penny actually because that's how it should be that that phrase so anyway i've popped a little bit on can you see oh my gosh look at my nose oh my gosh guys i love it anyway so i massively recommend these highlighters also um on quite a shallow but nevertheless i'm going to mention it note i think the packaging is a really really good quality they've got magnetic closures uh, it just feels really sturdy i like the white they've got mirrors these are just all around fantastic. Well done, fuckle your shame about the typo. If it wasn't for the typo, these would be perfection. And believe me, I don't mind about the typo. I actually think that the typo makes the product endearing because it's kind of kind of cute, you know, in a way. But it's just, I just, I'm, I'll never stop finding it funny, guys. I may just get a t-shirt made. Goal, goal. I'm go I'm goalwing today. Feeling like I'm goalwing. And then people will be like, what is that? And I'll be like, do you not know what goal means? I mean, really, Dave knows what goal means. He knows. Okay, so my next favourite highlighter is by the Camuse brand. So this one, unfortunately, it doesn't seem to have a name. They released this in three different shades. I've tried two. I've tried the one, I think it's called Diamond Dust. It was Like, well, it wasn't I'm trying, do you know what? I'm trying to not swear. I'm really trying to not swear in videos and I'm really not doing a good job. But I do actually somewhere. Okay, I do I tried diamond dust the other day. I put it somewhere and I don't I know I'm being lazy. I'm being a lazy bones. Do you know what? I'm not gonna be I'm gonna find it. I know I've because I'll I'm gonna regret it when I'm editing the video if I didn't look to find it. I'll be like, I'm gonna need to you should have found that. This is my big bag of makeup that I've tried recently so hmm. okay so I found it so this one is a diamond bomb and then the one that I really really like is called bronze the formula of these two uh, it, they're not, it's not really consistent I would say that the one that I really really like has a cream formula whereas diamond bomb is a little bit drier it's more typical of your traditional powder kind of formula highlighter I don't dislike it but I just didn't love it it was nothing special whereas it's sister oh my gosh she is gorgeous if you're a fan of cream highlighters like i don't know if she's cream she could even be like a gel which is like a hybrid between a powder and a gel and actually it's my favorite type of highlighter because i just think it's the most flattering natural but at the same time glowy and wet look sheeny i don't know how many times in this video i'm actually going to say wet look sheeny too many probably but this is what she looks like on my finger she's the most beautiful champagne she almost has a little bit of peach to her she's really really easy oh ex excuse you pop back up again this this is your moment honestly don't be shy it's fine everyone's friendly here she's really really easy to use you can either go in with your finger and just like pop her on or she actually works really well with a brush which is surprising because she is more of like a, a creamy gel kind of uh, formula but either way she is absolutely charming and I really really recommend she costs a couple of pounds diamond bomb is okay just it was drier 
didn't look as glowy and it had like lots of visible glitters so if that's your thing you may like her but yeah for me bronze is perfect okay so i just wanted to mention a liquid highlighter because i don't discriminate against different types of highlighters so this one is by the here's to beauty tutti i never know the name but this is i'm just gonna say it's by the naked brand okay so this is in the shade copacabana it's a liquid illuminator it's so opaquely packed with metallic bronze slash champagne probably champagne do you know what forget i even mentioned bronze champagne so this is oh my gosh this is better than the nars copacabana liquid highlighter and the reason why i say that is just because this looks like melted metal look at that she's absolutely gorgeous she feels really really lightweight on the skin blends out beautifully you can wear her alone on your face she's like dabbed on just maybe over your moisturizer she looks gorgeous you can mix her in with your moisturizer sensational or you know you can even mix her in with your foundation that's that's one of the reasons why i love liquid highlighters because they are so multifaceted like you can use them in so many different ways the word i was looking for was versatile versatile i was having some mental struggles the day I filmed this. It's versatile. Necklace is attach. You could do your legs in summertime and you would just look like an absolute glowing goddess. So yeah, I really, really like this. If you're in the mood for a liquid highlighter and you do not want to spend much money because those Huda Beauty ones are about £35 and I honestly cannot imagine them being better than this. I wish I was so rich. Like, I wish I was so rich anyway, but I really wish I was rich so that I could buy all of these expensive products to actually do side-by-side -side tests to see how AliExpress products actually compare. But because I have not a lot of money like i cannot do that okay so the next highlighter we have is by beauty glazed um this is just called the highlighting powder i think one of the most disappointing things about these aliexpress highlighters is that the brands did not feel it necessary to actually give the line a name you know like you know mac or nas they come out with these like fabulous names like the the silky skin i mean i can't think of any names right now but the glass skin. Yes, buddy. Why do we like this? Me? Yeah. Did I do? What did I do? <laughs> oh, I don't know. When you were listening, did you, were you listening to my video? Mm -hmm. I love you so much. I'm going to come down in just a minute once I've done my video. Oh my gosh, do you know what? It's so warm today. It is absolutely boiling. My hair is like sticking to the back of my neck. But anyway, so yeah, I just think it's it's such a shame that they create these beautiful, beautiful products, but then they just don't name them. So then I'm sat here like raving about them, but I'm just saying, oh, it's the highlighting powder. And it's like, oh my gosh, I'm going to start renaming them all soon. Uh, this one is going to be called Sunburst on your face. This is what the highlighter looks like. I think a lot of the time you can kind of tell if a highlighter is going to be good by how it looks in the pan. Do you know what I mean? And this one in the pan, it just looks like a whole dish, like a whole lot of dish. This is in the shade Cashmere. It's super soft and silky. The, the only negative about this is that it's quite golden. And I would definitely say that for my fair skin, it's a little bit too golden however i think that this would look absolutely beautiful on uh, deeper skin tones olive skin tones i have tried a few other shades from this line because they actually had about i don't know like 10 shades that they released it was quite a big line but what i found was three of the shades actually were so similar to each other they might as well have just been the same shade and then i tried a lighter one which was extremely light uh, so out of the bunch that i tried this one was definitely my favorite but the formula is so smooth and creamy so glowy i just think this would look absolutely gorgeous on deeper skin tones okay so next we have the 
the big daddy of the bunch. So this one is by Hojo and it's called Brilliance, which, oh my gosh, now that's the name, Brilliance. I mean, if I ever release a highlighter, which probably will never happen, but if I do, I'm going to call her Extravaganza because that's what I want to be produced on my face when she goes on. This is what the highlighter looks like. This was definitely... I feel inspired by the Anne Reezy and ABH collab. It's just got that same kind of look to it. This is in the shade 02. I'm just going to perform a swatch for you. It's the most beautiful champagne. It's like a very vibrant, bright champagne, I would say. So I'm going to just do a swatch. I must say, I don't actually wear this highlighter as much as I probably should. I do tend to forget about her a little bit. And I think the formula for me isn't 100%. Just in the sense that this is definitely a chunkier formula uh, than the others and when I say chunky I don't mean like it's super chunky chalky and rough I just mean that this has lots of little glitters in there and that just adds to the formula to make it a bit more substantial so she definitely is chunkier but the benefit of that is that she really does pop a lot of punch you know what I mean on your face she's chunky but she's bringing it you know what I mean definitely has glitters in Again, like once you've kind of put it on your face, you can't really see the glitters, but I would definitely say that out of all of these highlighters, this is the most glittery of all. I know that some people don't like glittery highlighters and other people love them. If you love them, then I would definitely recommend this. So gorgeous. Even if you don't really like glitter, like you can't really see it. Like if you look on my hand, you can maybe see a little bit, a little bit of glitter, but you could just see a whole lot of glow, can't you, really? You're just kind of blinded. Blinded by the glow. Blinded by the glow. I feel very, like, 80s today, you know? And I'm loving it. Guys, what are we thinking, honestly, about the nose, the pink nose? Are we loving it? Are we thinking that was a really bad idea? I don't know what I think, but I don't think I'm hating it. I don't think it'll be like my everyday, but I don't regret it. Like, I really don't. Um, okay, so guys, the last two fabulous highlighters that I want to rave about today are both palettes. The first one is by, oh, You Can Be. And this is called the Kaleidoscope Palette. If you want to get some bomb diggity down, amazing duochrome highlighters, this is definitely one of the two palettes for you because the other palette is also duochrome this is absolutely gorgeous you've got a whole load of variety in here you've got pinks you've got lilacs you've got mint green you've got icy blues you've got a wonderful kind of you know minty green slash purple you've got peach this is an incredibly fun palette to play around with the quality of the shadows is absolutely beautiful they're very soft very creamy extremely duochrome some of them more duochrome than others some of them are subtly duochrome but yeah if you want a duochrome fun highlighting palette that you can play around with this is a really good one to go for you can also use these powders as eyeshadows as well if you wanted to uh, try out or play around with some duochrome shades so I forgot to just did you notice I forgot the word shades duochrome shades anyway this is an absolute delight of a palette okay so we've come to the end of the video and i want to end with a bang i want to end the video with an old friend the the palette that blew me away the palette that broke my makeup virginity honestly so this palette is by tz cosmetics and if you've watched my channel for a while back when I used to film in my bedroom and um, back when I probably had never dyed my hair pink before back long before I shaved off the tail of my eyebrows you will be familiar with this palette this this is the palette that if I could have made any palette and sold it this would have been the palette that I would have wanted to have had my name all over like literally ammonator 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 all over there because this palette is 
something special and I just cannot believe that it never really got the attention or the praise that I feel like it deserves so I really want to kind of bring it back I'm bringing it back so this is the Aurora palette by TZ Cosmetics the formula is a cream kind of jelly it's absolutely beautiful and I think you can kind of see a little bit there and up at the top as to how truly duochrome and stunning these shades re really really are I've just done a little swatch there and I'm going to go ahead I'm going to swatch each of the shades so that you can see them in all of their glory So I think that just looking at these swatches can tell you more about why I love them than my mouth can. Honestly, they're just so beautiful. I absolutely, absolutely adore this palette. And I would definitely say that this is my favourite palette of all time. If we're talking about eyeshadow palettes, highlighting palettes, blush palettes, any kind of palette that you could ever think of, this is the one that sparks joy in me the most. It's just like nothing else. The shades are beautiful. I know that some people might look at this and say, well, I mean, I don't feel like that's kind of everyday wearable. Believe me, you can wear these to the office. They can be subtle. You can build them up to look like an intergalactic princess. You can play around with these, you can have fun with them and as I say they just spark so much joy and happiness. I love this. And of course you can also use these shades on your lids. I think because they're cream it kind of makes them a lot more versatile than a powder. I think that the packaging is just so beautiful. It's cardboard, it's not the most extravagantly over-designed packaging. I just love the pastel clouds. I love the name of the palette, Aurora. I, everything about the palette, guys. I, I hope that I've got that point across. I love everything about this palette and TZ Cosmetics did actually send this to me and this is going back like a couple of years now and I remember like I became not close really but you know when you just start like going back and forth with people. So the owner of TZ Cosmetics, I don't know if he was the owner but the representative of TZ Cosmetics that I was speaking to was like a really, really, really nice guy and he asked me if I wouldn't mind writing like the description of oh, come on please i'm trying to film a fucking video here like what the fuck is going on he asked me if i wouldn't mind just like writing out a description of the palette so they could go on amazon which i did i don't know if they ever put it on amazon though should we check i don't know if they did it but like my writing is not the best but by the way this palette is currently 9.99 on amazon it's got four and a half stars out of five and that's from 300 i don't know if you can see that but it's from 308 reviews i'm actually going to be a little bit I think sad if they've not used my description. I may even be offended, honestly. The f oh no, I think this is my description, guys, because I've spotted the word sensationally. Okay, so the formula in the Aurora Borealis palette is sensationally unique. Yeah, this is my description. It is wet, definitely my description. Smooth, soft and creamy. Flattering on all skin tones. In addition, oh no, this is not, they've added their own bit in here. They've said, in addition, it won't foreground the pores on face. No, that's not mine. They've added bits of mine in, but then they've tried to add bits of 
uh, for something else in that hasn't quite worked. This is me. When applied to the skin, it looks supremely beautiful and has an eye-catching duochromatic glow. If you want a dewy, beautiful glow to your cheeks, this is the palette for you. The formula is totally buildable, so you can apply a little for a subtle glow from within or a lot for a blinding glow. Apply wherever you want for a duomatic, duochromatic. Oh my gosh. You know what? Great. Oh my gosh. Great, guys. If you want to go check out my moment in literature, then you can also check out the description. But it's not all mine. So I can't take credit for it all, but a lot of it is. I am going to end the video now. I really hope that you've enjoyed this. If you could let me know in the comments downstairs which other categories would you be most interested in seeing me discuss? Like, do you want to see me talk about like my favourite eyeshadow palettes from AliExpress, my favourite uh, blushes, favourite lip products? Don't ask me to do my favourite mascaras because there aren't any. Like, literally, there aren't any. And also, like, even like the lip products really... There's not really that many that I probably, I love enough to be able to rave about. So, uh, but blushes, um, even foundations or like face products, like fat BB creams, kind of those kind of products. I've actually found a few that I really, really love. So just let me know what you would like to see. Um, but I hope that you have a really, really good rest of the day. Thank you so much for watching the video and I hope to see you in the next one.